Welcome back to MedGems channel. Let's talk about a common condition called mononucleosis or the kissing disease. So what would you learn? You would understand the causes and symptoms of mono. You will learn how mono is diagnosed and treated. You will discover ways to prevent getting mono. And why does this matter? You could ask. Well, knowing about mononucleosis is important for identifying its early signs taking care of it appropriately and minimizing complications. Now, mono is a contagious virus disease that is also called kissing disease, and it's caused by a virus called Epstein-Barr virus. It is mostly spread through the saliva, such as when you kiss someone who has the virus, or if you share drinks, straws, glass of water or wine, food utensils generally with such a person. The virus then goes to infect the white blood cells in the body which are supposed to help you fight off infection and then you can't fight, okay? What are the symptoms of mono? The symptoms include feeling very tired and run down, high body temperature, sore throat, feeling unwell, extreme tiredness or exhaustion, swelling of the spleen also, skin rashes, swollen neck lymph nodes, yellowing skin known as jaundice, joint pain, being cold, and on rare occasions, infected individuals may experience spleen rupture or difficulty breathing due to their hairway closing down. They can also have muscle ache, loss of appetite. Some individuals may experience a red flat rash with small bumps on the body. And those rashes may occur after taking certain antibiotics like ampicillin, amoxicillin, zitromax, levofloxacin. And these are one of the reasons why people should not write their own prescriptions. Some antibiotics can make this condition worse. So you see a doctor, they may check your throat and lymph nodes for swelling and redness. Additionally, they can examine your abdomen to see or determine whether your spleen is swollen and enlarged. Test for Epstein-Barr virus specific antibody or a monospot by taking blood samples. And either of these two tests can tell your doctor if you have mononucleosis. So if you do, there is no specific cure for mono. Treatment only focuses on relieving your symptoms and giving your body a chance to fight off the infection. This could mean that you need to get a lot of rest, as much sleep as your body needs, and it might take several days or even weeks. They can give you over-the-counter pain medications to relieve your pain, like paracetamol, ibuprofen, and that will help with the fever and the pain, the sore throat, and general illness that you're feeling. So do not take aspirin for this condition. It will make it worse. Steroid injections are recommended if there is difficulty breathing. There are other non-medical therapy as well that you can take. So if you have, for example, sore throat, gargling with warm salt water can help. A humid air can help clear off the stuffy nose. You also need to drink lots of water so you don't get dehydrated. And things like frozen popsicles or lozenges can help ease your throat and the pain in your throat and help you feel better. Now, infectious mononucleosis and playing sports is a big thing because teenagers and young adults often engage in athletic competitions and are prone to infectious mononucleosis, not due to the sports, don't get me wrong, but from kissing and sharing things that go in the mouth and mix with saliva. And so in the first two weeks, most of the people or more than half of the people with mono will have a swollen spleen. So if you're an athlete, you should not play sports while you are sick with mono because your swollen spleen from mono can be busted if somebody bumps into you during practice or game and you can easily bleed, bleed out. Don't forget, most people will generally feel better after a week or two, but others may continue to feel tired and continue to feel weak for months. How do you prevent getting mono? Well, there is not yet a vaccine available that can protect you against getting Epstein-Barr virus that causes mononucleosis. However, you can reduce your risk by washing your hands frequently, avoiding sharing spoons, cups, or other things that go in the mouth with another person. And unless you are sure they don't have any transferable infection in the mouth or mononucleosis, don't kiss somebody. Practice good oral hygiene. I'm not saying don't kiss, I said be sure they do not have a transferable infection in the mouth, like mononucleosis. Mono is a common infection. It usually resolves on its own within a week or a few weeks. If you think you have mono or someone you know has mono, see a doctor for a diagnosis and treatment. Don't go write your own prescription. That's it for today. I appreciate you for watching this video. I'm glad you liked the material presented. 
This is valuable information, so I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, share with friends and family, and subscribe to my channel so this channel can grow. This video is for educational purposes only and does not provide medical diagnosis. Before modifying or starting a treatment routine, please talk to your doctor. Until next time, it's MedGems Clinic.